Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Today, I want to show you how to compress vocals and instruments in a very simple but powerful way. Now, I've got my vocal uh, already loaded up without any compression, and this is how it sounds like. You got the keys to my heart, and I have yours. The only one who knows the password is you. Now, in this vocal, there are some parts like this part is a little bit higher and keeps jumping up. And there are also some quiet parts which are really, really quiet. And that's where compression comes in. That's why you engage a compressor so that you can control the parts which are low and the parts which are high. Basically, what a compressor does is it helps to raise the parts that are low in volume to a level where the parts are a little bit higher and reduces the parts which are very high to a level where the parts are a little bit quiet and that's how a compressor works so i'm going to turn on my compressor i'm going to use uh three or four compressors so i can show you guys that they are all the same compressors work the same they all have the same buttons they all have the same settings once you open up when you open up a compressor you will find what is called a gain a gain knob you'll find what is called a ratio knob you'll find what is called attack you'll find what is called release you'll find what is called a threshold i'm gonna show you uh, what all these do first thing first you need to understand what these uh, mean and what they do now the first thing that i want to show you or, or or explain to you is this attack button which you find in every compressor attack is how the compressor attacks the vocal then the second one is called the release the release button the release button release is how the compressor releases the compressed vocal or instrument think of someone who grabs you on the rooftop from falling but then since you want to get down instead of just letting you go just like that you get released slowly until you reach the ground and this is the what uh the release button does it helps to uh release the vocal in a faster way or a slower way and mostly uh, i recommend that you set this one to 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 really to slow to a slow release so that the vocal can be captured and just released I i'll show you how it works uh in just a few minutes from now then the ratio is like a dosage you give to a patient small dosage the better you will feel too much dosage you die so too much ratio can kill the vocal or destroy the quality of your vocals the threshold is like an aeroplane when you push it the plane takes off and basically the threshold starts the compression that's the work of the threshold if you don't engage the threshold the compression is not gonna start then the gain this is like the volume uh, knob you push it up the volume is gonna go up you bring it down the your vocal volume or instrument volume is gonna go down now let us compress this vocal watch me as i begin to compress this vocal and also everything that i've just explained in case you didn't get it it is in the description below so you guys can check out what i've written for you so i'm gonna let the vocal play and then i'm gonna start by setting my ratio to just a three just a three you got the keys to my heart and I have yours The only one who knows the password is you We have created our own world When nothing else matters Alright, I'll set my ratio to 3 Now, there is nothing that is still happening until I engage the threshold. So right now I'm gonna go to the threshold and I'm gonna try to uh, bring it down until I begin to see a, a yellow line somewhere here, which is a sign that compression has started. Now watch this. You got the keys to my heart and I have yours. The only one who knows the password is you. We have created our own world when nothing else matters. You so I've set my threshold to about negative uh, 20.0 uh, 20 and uh, 
compression has begun as you can see uh, there was a yellow line which uh, started flashing here which is a sign that compression has started and this has controlled those parts which were a little bit louder and this has also raised up those uh, parts which were a little bit quieter and it's like now I have where I want my vocal to be before you got the keys to my heart and I have yours after compression before it's to my heart and I have yours watch what is happening to this part this part where the vocal is really really high watch what is happening there it's to my heart and I have Watch. Now, let me turn on the compression and see how it compresses it by bringing it down. So it's it's no longer jumping up and down. Then uh, I'm going to go to the release. I'm going to set it on a slower release by taking it this side. Listen to it. It's to my heart and I have yours. You got the keys to my heart and I have yours. A faster release is when I take it back like this. You got the keys to my heart and I have yours. So a faster release catches the vocal which is trying to uh, uh, come out very fast and tries to reduce it. A slower release catches it very slowly and releases very slowly as well. Once you set your release to fast, it's like you are giving it a smart move and when you take it to slow it's like you drop down the, the thinking process becomes a little bit slower i'm gonna set it to fast so that it can catch those places which are trying to jump up and before they jump up the release is go just gonna catch them before they are heard in the speakers and in that way the whole voice or instrument is just gonna sound the same you, you are not gonna tell uh, the difference whether the the voice is high or low because of the release so this is the good thing about the release then i'm gonna go to the attack how the compressor can attack those uh vocals which are a little bit uh, uh higher and this is how it works like you got the keys to my heart and I have Slow attack You got the keys to my heart and I have yours Faster attack You got the keys to my heart and I have yours So so our faster attack just catches everything up before they jump out it's like before you jump out of a plane you you just get caught before you like a smart move like the cia before you like pull out the gun they're already on you so this is what happens when you put the attack on fast the attack is really fast just attacks you like let's say um a robber is trying to rob a bank and then before he robs uh the bank the cia just attacks immediately so that's what happens with their attack button then the release is how they release you they can release you fast or release you slower and this is how the release button works after compression you realize that you 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 lose uh some volume to your vocal or instrument and that's where the gain uh knob comes in you just push it up to make sure that your vocal volume is the same as it was before compression and basically this is uh how you do compression now i'm gonna get another compre compressor in cubase this is a different compressor in cubase in dynamics this is this is a different compressor in cubase as you can see there is also a uh, makeup which is a gain the same gain knob ratio the same thing threshold the same thing then you have an attack you then you have release and you have analysis all these are the same and basically just use release attack ratio makeup and threshold forget about the rest then i'm gonna get another uh i'm gonna get another compressor c1 compressor look at it it has it has um it has attack right here it has ratio it has threshold this is the ratio and then it has uh threshold and then it has the gain knob this is a different compressor same things same settings you can apply the same settings 
over and over and over. Now, if you want a preset about compression, just a preset sent to you, and you want to use that preset to just throw it on your vocal, that preset is just going to start compressing your vocal, then hit me up in using my WhatsApp number below, and I'm going to send it to you if you are among my subscribers. If you're not my subscriber, uh, subscribe, hit the like button, uh, screen, ca screen capture your subscription, and then WhatsApp me using uh, my number which is in this in the description below then request for a preset compressor preset I'm gonna send it to you. So that is simple. Hope you guys have learned something and uh, I will see you in the next video <music>